time jam your hands together for him one more time for i bear on me the mark of christ therefore let no man trouble me and we overcame him by the blood and by the word of our testimony this is our month our year of the covenant seal even as the choir sings that seal of god upon your life is going to be more activated in jesus name everything that is standing against you will recognize this seal and they will clear off in jesus name hallelujah
I'm sure you can. Glory to the Lamb of God. You made it to 2020. There was a general, a general in Iran. He had also planned to see today. But the drums of America went after him and eliminated him. I don't know how they did it. But today the man is dead. You are alive. I say praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. Keep standing. We are going to be reading from the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 9. Because it's a fairly long passage. We are going to read responsibly. Ezekiel chapter 9. And I will ask uh, that we read it together. I read verse 1. You read the next. And together we'll read verse 11. He cried also in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near. Even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand, all six men came out of the way of him. Every man slaughtered a weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with lightning. The writers ink by his side. And they went in and stood before the prison altar. And the glory of God of Israel was gone up from the cherub. Whereupon he was to the threshold of the house and he called to the man clothed with linen which had the writer's ink by his side he said to him, go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of all men sigh crying for the abomination and to the others he said in my hearing Go ye after them through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare them, neither have ye pity. Or come not near unto and begin at my sanctuary. Makasu Barikalima. And he said unto them, Defile the house of God. And fill the courts with slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. And cried and said, Ah, Lord God, would thou destroy all the residue of Israel in thy outpouring of thy fury upon Jerusalem? Then said he unto them, the iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great. And the land is full of blood, and the city full of perverseness. For they say, the Lord has forsaken the earth, and the Lord seeth not. Now will I have pity, and I will confess for their head. Let's read the last verse together. And behold, 
the man clothed with linen which had the ink by his side reported the matter saying I have done that that was commanded me I'm bringing you a word this morning I have titled the power of covenant seal the power of covenant seal righteous father I just want to bless your holy name for this great time the very first Sunday in this year the first in this century and we are waiting not the letter because the letter killeth but the spirit of God gives life Lord please give life to this word let this word do somebody good here today let no one leave this meeting this morning without a seal thank you our father for in Jesus wonderful name we have prayed amen the Lord bless you please take your seats happy new year 2020 will be a wonderful year for you it will be a year of greatness to be a year of great things it will be a year of many pleasant surprises in the name of Jesus amen Jesus by his holy birth and circumcision by the sweat of blood in the garden of Gethsemane by the lashes he received by his bitter suffering and death by his resurrection and ascension and by sending the Holy Spirit as secured for us the most expensive seal in human history and we have shouted it at the rooftop it's very dangerous to go into 2020 without the seal of God on your life what is a seal I checked and they said a seal is something that secures such as wax on a document a closure that must be broken to be opened and thus revealing tampering if you received a document that had been sealed from the post office and the seal had been broken you will know that somebody had tampered with your document so that's one way of identifying it it could also mean tight perfect closure or a device to prevent the passage or return of gas our working definition today will be the first one in other words is something that secures something the closure of which must be broken to be open those revealing that there has been a tampering that would be the working definition of seal for us today but I want to say church as I did over the crossover service I've been crying to the Lord since then that everyone under this ministry will receive the seal of the blood that Jesus offers only two people said amen, amen. because the blood has not lost its power thank you choir can we celebrate the choir thank you so much choir for reminding us that it has not lost its power let me say you may not by your naked eyes see the seal it's not visible but it is real and palpable for those who on the other side when they see a man that carries a seal they recognize it they know that this fellow there's something different about him have you been to airports uh, you are traveling and somebody pulled you aside and said there's something there's something different about you are you has it happened to you before time and over again I've been pulled aside and they've asked what is it about you there's something about you what they saw is a seal is a seal visible in your life can men see it? Can they feel it? Let me tell you, church, 
that what God has sealed, Satan cannot steal. It's not possible. It's not possible. So I congratulate you if you have this seal already. If you have this seal already. Of course, what makes this seal special is because it came from the blood of the covenant of the Lamb of God. Lawyers know that no covenant has a legal authority without a seal. If you have a seal of O for a property and there is no seal on it, in great probability it is fake. There must always be a seal on important documents. If you went to an office and you signed, they gave you a contract for two billion and you are to sign the agreement for the execution of that contract there is usually on the last page a seal who qualifies to receive the seal what is the qualification for the seal in both scriptures that we have read the one we read at the crossover service in the book of Revelations, chapter 7 2 and 3 if you read verse 3, you will hear something like this. Saying, Hot not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of God in their foreheads. Men and women who have understanding, we know that the most significant item over your life this season is to have this seal on your forehead. You don't have it, you are exposing yourself to danger. Because perilous times are here already. Perilous times are here already. Our nation is going through the most turbulent period of its history. Things have never been this way before. In the villages, every phone call you get, they're asking you to bring money, send money. People who never asked you for money before, they are now begging and asking for money. My dear friend, the, the answer is a seal because it's going to get better. I don't want to pronounce the other one. It's going to get better in the name of Jesus. In the story that we read in Ezekiel chapter 9, particularly verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, throughout the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that cry for all the abominations that are done in the midst. Easily, the most cardinal qualification for obtaining the seal in the two stories is service. Let me tell your friend by your side, it's by service. Seal is by service. Seal is by service. You don't serve. It's not enough to be a child of God. The train has moved. We've moved beyond just being children of God. When they say, we are the children of God, you raise your hand. Thank God for that. But there is a higher demand that is being placed on all of us. And all of us have a responsibility to God. If one died for all, then we are all dead. That those who now live should not live unto themselves, but should live unto him who died and gave himself for them. You cannot afford anymore to sit on the sideline and wait and watch and just see things happening around you. It's a time of hard work for the master. This is what guarantees your seal. You are not a worker. You are not a servant. The seal is not available to you. It doesn't matter how religious you are. It doesn't matter how. There are many of us who just saunter in and out of church. Check what they are doing for the Lord. Nothing. They are doing nothing. You call them for Bible study. You won't see them. You ask them to come for prayer meeting. You won't see them. The highest figure we have had for this fasting period 
is I think about 190 people. 190 people showing up to pray and to secure their lives. And yet, middle of the year, many of them will be calling, Pastor, I need this. Pastor, come. You spare me a lot of headache. When you take part in this spiritual exercise of fortification, because what you are doing is that you are seizing the moment. You are taking the year by storm. You are putting the decade in your pocket. And things can glide. And your pastors can have time to attend to other things. But when we give you the opportunity to prepare yourself as a bride that is adorned for the bridegroom, we don't see you. You have 1,000 excuses why you will not come. The Lord help you in Jesus' name. My charge today is that you enlist as a servant. Enlist as a servant. Only special service people carry the seal. When you see people who are serving a nation, there is the coat of arm they carry, either on their, the top of their cap or they carry on their shoulder or they host a flag on their cars to identify them as servants. As servants. I was checking with the general today that when you retire as a general, are you still allowed to fly the flag? He said, no. Once you retire, say fini. But I had joy in my heart. I said, with God, there's no retirement. Oh, they didn't say amen. That, that means that you will always carry the insignia of office that the Lord has placed on your life. You may not carry the coat of arm of Nigeria. You may not carry that emblem. But there is an insignia that you will carry for the rest of your life. The only time you drop it is when you drop your sword to go and rest with the master. And I'm checking with you, my dear friend. Are you a servant? Help me ask your friend by your side. Are you a servant? You need to check. You need to check. Help me. Help me ask your friend again to your left side. Are you a servant? Are you a servant? Do you want this seal? Do you desire this seal? Let me walk you through why it will be too dangerous to go into this year without the seal. You'll be taking a big risk by going to 2020 without the seal. I don't have the time to read our scriptures in Revelation 7. It will be nice when you get home, you, you read it and enjoy it and see what is coming. What is coming is huge, particularly for our nation. We have a leadership that is absolutely insensitive to the pains of the people. Our people are wallowing in poverty. Our people are suffering. And yet, it's in the midst of abundance. Life does not have to be this difficult. This morning, I woke up. I wanted to have my bath. There was no water running. They had to go boil water for me to go and bath in the jacuzzi. And if I came to church without bathing, many of you will be running away from me. Let me show you the imperative of the seal. Why it is so imperative? Come with me to the book of John. John 16, 33. John 15, 33. John 16, 33. Hear what it says. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have what? These are in red letters. What did he say you will have? Tribulations. Tribulations. Many times I feel like leaving this nation to go and just live somewhere else. But I don't have another country. This is where God has allotted my portion. And like I said at the broadcast this morning, if those of you that followed us on, on AIT, the new Nigeria that we are looking for will be in my lifetime. Say a good amen now. Amen. Look.
Look at Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5, 15 to 16. See then that you walk how? How do you walk? Not as who? As what? But be what? Be wise. Be wise. Yes. Redeeming the time. Why? The days are evil. The days are evil. The days are evil. Help me ask your friend, are you a wise person? If you are, walk circumspectly. That's why nobody must leave this meeting this morning without a seal on your forehead. The last one I want to share with you, so uh, you, you know that it's not, it's no play. Satan is not on vacation. Satan is active and alive on planet earth. See first John chapter 5 and verse 19. And we know that we are of who? Of God. Where is the world? Huh? The world lies in, 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 in wickedness. When they are doing wickedness to you in your office, don't worry. It's to be expected. When your in-laws are maltreating you, and they are not giving you your due. Don't worry yourself. It's because the world lies in wickedness. But there is a remedy. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. I said there is a remedy. There is a remedy. The seal will deliver you from damage. The seal will deliver you from harm and evil. The seal will deliver you from pain and grief. From wound and injury from distress from impairment from torture from torment from misery from anguish of soul and spirit from agony and from afflictions those are the things that the seal will secure for you for free it's pro bono because it has been paid for in full and the master is ever so willing to seal us and seal our redemption as it were I have just about 15 more minutes but what I want to do is to walk you through people in the Bible who had enjoyed the seal of God the seal of God divine seal, covenant seal the first one I like to share is a little bit on the negative but just to emphasize that when the seal of God is on your life you are good to go tell your friend you are good to go but not before you take the seal go for the seal go for the seal on your forehead Genesis chapter 4 I will read from 9 to 16 it's a very good story it's a story we have enjoyed before and the Lord said unto Cain where is Abel your brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Can you see this audacious man talking to the living God? And he said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth which has opened her mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand when you till the ground it shall not henceforth yield unto you their strength a fugitive and a vagabond thou shalt be in the earth and Cain said unto the Lord my punishment is too greater than I can bear can you see our God is having a conversation with a murderer a murderer and do you, know, do you know the interesting thing? God actually mitigated his sentence. Hear this. Behold, thou hast driven me out from this day from the face of the earth. And from thy face shall I be hid. And I will be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me 
shall slay me. And hear what God said to him. And the Lord said to him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken of him. How many times? Sevenfold. And the Lord did what? The Lord set a mark upon Cain. Least any man finding him should kill him. Who is entitled to death than Cain? No, tell me. If you murdered your brother, shouldn't you also expect to be killed? But not God. Our God is so good. Our God is awesome. His loving kindness is from everlasting to everlasting. He doesn't hold back from anybody. There is nobody in this meeting this morning that can be worse than Cain. How many murderers are in the house? You have killed and murdered. You took gun and you shot a man. I don't think there's anybody here. Who a murderer in the house? You can I won't turn you over to the police. Just raise your hand. And God placed a mark on his forehead. Anyone who dares to touch this fellow seven times, he will pay for it with his life. God, God. It's only God that can be God. Though. If I was God, I won't, I won't even listen to him. In fact, before he says anything, he will be a dead man. And, but God, God is good. Tell your friend, God is very good. The second, the second seal that I want to show you for time is a man they call Lot. In Genesis chapter 19, 15 to 22, Genesis 19, 15 to 22. And when the morning arose, then the angels hasted Lord, saying, Arise, take your wife and your two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid hold of, of his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hands of his two daughters. And the Lord, being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and set him without the city. Can you see God's magnanimity? And it came to pass that when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape not for your life. Look not behind. Did thou stay thou in all the plain, escape to the mountains? Least thou be consumed. And Lord said unto them, Oh, not so, my Lord. Can you see? A man who doesn't know God's agenda. He ended up finally where he says he's not going up. That's where he ended up. We don't have time for that yet. Behold now, thy servant has found grace in thy sight. And thou hast magnified your mercy which thou hast shown unto me in the saving of my life. And I cannot escape to the mountain. Least some evil take me and I die. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto. And it shall be a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. Or a little is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And they said to him, See, I've accepted this concerning this thing also. And I will not overthrow this city for which thou hast spoken. Haste thee, escape thither. For I cannot do anything till thou become thither. Therefore, the name of the place is called Zoa. Amen. The angel, angel of destruction will not visit you. They won't touch you until they have sealed you. If you are not sealed, there will be no destruction. Let's look at the children of Israel in Goshen. See Exodus 12, 12 to 13. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and I will smite all the firstborn of the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord, and the blood shall be for you a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land. 
death will pass over you. Destruction will pass over you. Sudden, untimely death will pass over you. When you have the seal on your forehead. Hallelujah. Let's look at the covenant of circumcision. Covenant of circumcision. Genesis 17, 11 to 13. Genesis 17, 11 to 13. And you shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin. And it shall be a token of the covenant between me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. Every male child in your generations. He that is born in your house or bought with your money of any stranger which is not of your seed. He that is born in your house and he that is bought with your money must needs be circumcised and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting. Do you like that? There are some tribes in Nigeria that they don't do circumcision. I hope everybody here is circumcised, apart from the women. It's a covenant that you carry on your body. That covenant is a, you are, by it, you are entitled to have your children. You are entitled to fertility. You are entitled to goodness because there is a covenant of God on your body. I thought somebody would say, Good, amen. The final one I will share because of time is Paul. Paul, in the book of Acts, chapter 27, 30 and 31. 27. Acts 27. Actually, from 27. But when the fourth night, from 27, but when the fourteenth night was come, and as we were driven up and down in Andre, about midnight the shipmen deemed that they were near to the same country, to some country, and sounded and found it twenty fathoms. And when they had gone a little further, they sounded again and found it within fifteen fathoms. Then fearing least we should have fallen upon a rock, they cast four anchors out of the stand and wished for the day. And as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship, when they had let down the boat into the sea under color, as though they would have cast anchors out of the ship, Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, Except this abide in the ship, ye, ye cannot be saved. What, what happened to Paul? He's been singled out. His case is different. Tell your friend, your case is different. Others will perish, but you will survive. 2020 will be very challenging, but God will give you a melody. He will give you a song. In the name of Jesus. In Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30. Ephesians 4, 30 to 32. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. The Holy Spirit that you carry is a seal of eternal redemption. How many people carry the Holy Spirit here? carry the Holy Spirit. It's a seal. Knocking down. Confirming your redemption forever. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 12. That we could be, we should be to the praise of his holy name. Who first trusted in Christ. In whom he also trusted. After he heard the word of truth. The gospel of our Savior. In whom also after that you believe, you are sealed with the Holy Ghost of promise. Congratulate your friend by your side. You are sealed with the Holy Ghost of promise. And then stand to your feet. From henceforth, Galatians 6, 17. Let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the seal of the Lord Jesus. I want every head to bow 
there are many important people in this meeting this morning they are specially and god ordered their steps here today they know that they don't have the seal and they are asking seal what is seal what am i supposed to do well i want to help you this morning you know that you want this seal you want it let me see your hand just raise your hand it will be too dangerous to go into 2020 without this seal let me see more hands up now everyone who truly desires this seal let me see your hand up on the gallery here in the main sanctuary let me see your hand i want this seal i don't want to go into 2020 without a seal it's too risky it's too dangerous to go in without a seal only these few people came out you know that you are not a servant of god the only people exempted the only people exempted from the calamity that is coming are those servants of the living god those intercessors who cry day and night lord see the abomination of the land and grant reprieve for our country let many more come you know you are not a worker you are not doing anything for god other than the place where they are paying you uh, 30 days make one pay but you want to come this morning the room there is room at the cross there is still room at the cross why don't you come my dear friend i will not be held responsible for whatsoever happens to you if you leave this place without the seal the seal is so important do we have many more who are coming and are saying i need this seal on my forehead join them join this band of wonderful people quickly thank you you didn't make up your mind on time let the others come just join us those of you here in front just say after me lord jesus thank you for your word i know 2020 will be very challenging but with the seal on my forehead life will be easy life will be more abundant i ask you this morning please forgive me of my sins forgive me of all that i have done wrong by faith i invite you into my heart and life amen daddy please write their names in the lamb's book of life and in eternity to come they and us will make it there waving the victory flag that we made it here because of the seal amen open your eyes and go with go with peace man has some peace to give you it will help you hallelujah amen amen my time is up i don't have time to pray for you so just pray for yourself lord i must not miss my seal